Sam. I'm going to do my product empties for August. Wait, did I just do a product empties? I don't know, but I have some empties, so I'm just, I don't know when this is for. I'm really confused. Okay, um, so let's just get into it. The first thing that I used up was my Hypnose Drama from Lancome. This is a fabulous, I feel like I'm sitting so far away, which I love to death. One of my favorite mascaras, hands down. It's a little pricey. I've recently been using a new drugstore one, which I feel like is a lot more affordable, but I have to say, I think I will probably always love Hypnos Drama because it's so fabulous. Next, I used up my Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. I love this oil so much. I don't know if you guys have noticed. I think you have because I've seen quite a few comments. But I have been on a skin kick and my skin has been doing so much better. I went to the dermatologist and um, I got started using a new product, which I will show you in a minute. And then I've also been using a couple of other products as well. And my skin has literally done a, like... What, what, what would that be? 180? 180? I don't know. I don't know, but it's really so much better than it was. I'm really, really working to get it like super duper fly. And this is my favorite way to remove my makeup. It's oil. It's amazing. Don't get it on your eyes. It makes your eyes like blurry. Um, but as far as removing your foundation, it just melts it away super quickly. And I've been really happy with Dermalogica products. I feel like they're very gentle. Um, they're really good for my skin. So I love this. It's absolutely amazing. If you like to remove, like if you wear a lot of heavy foundation, I highly recommend using an oil because it really does break it down really, really well. Okay, I also used up the Murad Skin Smoothing Polish. You guys know I've been using this for a couple of years now. I love this. It's my favorite exfoliator ever. I also like, really like the Dermalogica one, the powder one, but I feel like this is just a little bit more intense and um, I really like the way this like just makes my skin feel really, really whoa hats really really soft and it's a little bit more gritty so I really like this one okay so this is the ba this is the baby that has been changing my skin and it's like I just cannot believe the difference it has made in my skin this is what I got prescribed from the dermatologist this is the clindamycin phosphate topical gel 1% so this is what it looks like and you can see I've used up the entire thing. I just had to um, call it in today to refill it. Uh, basically this is prescription only and it is, <laughs> I was reading about it. You can either put it on your vagine if you have an infection, like a yeast infection or something. I'm not sure what kind of infection, a bacteria, a a vaginal infection. I have no idea, but I was like, oh, that's kind of gross. I'm sticking that on my face that you can also stick on your, but anyway, it works. It kills bacteria and acne is bacteria. So basically ever since I started using that, my skin has been clearing up so much better. Even when I was on my period, it wasn't nearly as bad as it was. I use it morning and night and I never had a reaction. I never got dry skin from it. I never got any kind of like um, burning sensation or anything. It was just straight up from the beginning. Absolutely amazing. And you can probably tell in my videos, my skin is looking a lot better right now. I do have some like stuff going on on my neck, which I'm not quite sure what is going on. It's just recently this has popped up. I don't know if it's from traveling or what's going on, but, um, I am so like happy with this stuff. Literally guys, it is making my skin so much better. Even just like the texture, like the little bumps that were like everywhere underneath the skin before are like going away. Like it's just becoming so much more smooth and so much more clear. So I highly recommend this if you have been struggling with acne and you're just getting super frustrated and you've been trying benzoyl peroxide and all of that stuff. Um, absolutely recommend, I recommend going to the dermatologist and asking about the clindamycin because it is the only product that has actually done something like dramatic to my skin as far as the acne goes. So I'm so obsessed with this. I will absolutely keep on using it. So yes, love it. Now, the other like key product is the Epionce Lictic TX. I know I've talked about this before. This is the retexturizing lotion. And basically this is for normal to combination skin. And what this has done to my skin, what I feel like it has done, has really improved the texture of my skin. So basically just like the smoothness, it's just really soft. It just looks a lot more kind of like less or a lot less congested um, and kind of like tighter. The pores don't seem as bad. Like it, the texture 
is just looking a lot better. So I love this. I apply this every single morning after the clindamycin and it gives you a really beautiful glow. Um, it just makes the skin look really, really pretty and very healthy, but I really do feel like it has changed the texture of my skin a huge amount. Um, it's just looking a lot smoother in general. Okay, next I used up a banana conditioner from the body shop. You guys know I just use this over and over and over again and my hair is really healthy. Um, then I used up the body shop strawberry shower gel. I love this stuff. It smells really, really good. It's got little bits of like strawberry seeds in it, which they don't actually exfoliate. They're just kind of there. Um, but it makes your shower smell really yummy and you smell really yummy. I also used up a Beauty Blender Cleanser it's Solid. I really like the solid. I think it is a lot better than the gel um, or the liquid. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And I really do feel like it's, and it's a lot more convenient as well. So I used one of those up, but I did also use up the Beauty Blender Cleanser Liquid. I'm not a fan of this after using the solid. I used to really love this and recommended it. But now that I have the solid, I feel like I would never buy the liquid again. I also used up the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Tonic To Go. These are um, exfoliating toner pads. They have 5% glycolic. And these are amazing. These are my favorite toner for sure. I love these so much. They really do make your skin feel, it's like the same as that um, retexturizing lotion. I feel like it's made my skin really just smooth and like just like clean. Um, it's supposed to make your skin look clearer and feel smoother, which I agree. It's supposed to tone, brighten, hydrate, and exfoliate. And um, yeah, you basically use it morning and night. Um, and I love these. They're so amazing. I would, I would highly recommend them and they smell like honeysuckle. Okay, we used up this soap. This is the A La, A A La Maison de Provence. Fresh Sea Salt. This I got from TJ Maxx. This is the best smelling hand soap I've ever smelled in my entire life. It smells so good. It just has, I think it's the sea salt that smells so good. It's just, it's, I don't know, it's hard to describe the scent, but it's so yummy and fresh. Um, so if you ever see this at TJ Maxx, pick it up because it's really good. And then last but not least, I used up another double wear stay in place makeup in the color uh, 3W1 Tawny. So. That's everything that I used up this month. I think I think it's been a while since I did a product empties, but I don't know, I can't really keep track anymore. So I hope you guys found that helpful. Let me know if there's some specific products that you're loving that you used up that you think I would like as well. Leave that in the comments down below. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Have a good weekend. It is Friday, can you believe that? Bye guys.